quick little update video on my Windows 11 experience. You guys know that I have used Windows 11 on my Steam Deck since I got my Steam Deck back in April. I have never ran it through SteamOS other than the initial setup and after that I just pretty much went Windows only. And I do have Windows 11 on my internal storage. All of my games are on my micro SD card. I do not dual boot, but we have the Steam Deck OS overlay on Windows. And I know you've been able to do this. I just personally haven't looked into it, but I finally have added the Steam OS overlay to Windows 11. And it was super simple. They made it super easy to do this. I will show the steps on how I did it. But I just want to point out that they've really catered to people even if they're using a different OS and that is awesome to see. They haven't just made anything exclusive, they haven't tried to leave us out in the cold if you're choosing to use an operating system that is not the one that they made. Then you can do this on your PC, you can do this on your actual Steam Deck if you're using Windows, you can pretty much use the Steam Deck UI anywhere that you want to if you're using Windows or obviously SteamOS. The cool thing about this is that we can now use this button right here that we were never able to use to get to the options. Here we have a little bit of control over our system. Some of this is non-functional, I will point that out, such as the brightness. You can't actually turn up or down the brightness. This is a beta version of uh, Steam and that's how you're able to even get this, but I'll get into that once I show you how to put the Steam Deck overlay onto Windows. But it's cool that we're even seeing this at all. It's going to be nicer when we do have the ability to control the frame rate and things like that. But for now, this is not fully functional. And that's completely understandable. This is probably a slow rollout of what we will be able to do in the future. As of right now, you can see your friends list. You can see notifications. You can see the FPS counter. And you can get the manual or report a bug. So that's pretty much the functions of this right here. And then the Steam button gets an overhaul too. This is different from big picture mode or different from the big picture overlay because once you're in game, once we launch a game actually, I'll show you that. Let's go ahead and launch Spider-Man. And before I actually do this, we still have the ability to three finger swipe down and go back to our Windows desktop. So nothing changes there. This is all through Steam. Once you launch Steam, you have control over this and it pretty much turns into the Steam Deck UI. I'm gonna go ahead and launch Spider-Man. And we can also go to our library here. It looks way nicer here than it does in big picture mode. These are some of my games. I said we're going to launch Spider-Man, so let's jump in there. Boom, and it pretty much launches it as it would on SteamOS. The nice thing is I'm in game now and I'm not noticing any crazy stutters or anything abnormal just from having the overlay on. It still pretty much works as intended. I have access to the menus and everything like that. And jumping back into the game is pretty seamless unpause i'm not noticing any frame dips or anything really being caused by having the overlay turned on so that's nice obviously this is me trying it in one game i don't know if it's going to be the same in every game but i've played spider-man before and i'm not seeing anything different just from having this overlay on and like i said you have access to controller settings on the fly here i did go ahead and change my gyro controls to the trackpad touch trackpad activates gyro and i can now look left and right up and down just by touching the trackpad and moving the system around it was set to the thumbstick whenever i would touch the thumbstick but i moved it to the trackpad because i feel like that is just um better as far as not having issues using the actual stick that was just a quick test too there's probably a bunch of other ways to do it probably mapping one of the back buttons to gyro would be another good option that way you don't have to take your hands off of the front of the system you also have the ability to close or switch games here in this menu we have the exit game option right there i'm gonna go ahead and launch call of duty uh, model for two is an interesting one because it actually doesn't work on steam os and only works on windows due to the anti-cheat so when you launch the game it will launch as normal but then it'll stay on a loading screen but the game will actually open in background i don't know if it's because the game actually doesn't launch from within steam and because of the anti-cheat or anything like that but you saw that spider-man pretty much opened right after showing us this screen on Call of Duty, it will show us this, and I think this is what tells us that the game is actually running. So if I three finger swipe down, I will see that Modern Warfare actually did launch, and it will finish launching there, but it will still load in background here since it's not actually launching the way it would normally. But the game still works fine, still opens up, and since we are on Windows, it does give us access to the game. You won't get stuck on a splash screen or anything like that. Launched fairly quickly so no issues there i thought it was just gonna stay loading and at first i thought something was wrong with the game 
but it was actually that it was launching in background but it still gives us access to the game settings it gives us the title of the game and everything like that and we still have access to controller settings and we can remap the game as i just did on spider-man you can change your controls here you just got to make sure that in call of duty you are actually on controller so you would go to quick settings and make sure your input is set to controller for everything to be uh, recognized if, even if you change the trackpad or the gyro controls or anything like that I had never actually tried setting up Call of Duty with gyro controls, but since it's so simple to do, I did it real quickly on here, and I can now use the gyro controls in Modern Warfare. It's a little bit weird, and I might make a video just trying to play like this, just for the fun of it, but you see that it's working. All I did was put my finger on the trackpad, on the touchpad, and I'm able to have gyro controls. I just wanted to show that real quick. I'm not going to show any gameplay or anything like that. This is just about the UI. Let's go ahead and exit game. And exiting the game does actually close the game. You don't have to three finger swipe and go back to Windows or anything like that or exit within the game. It will close the game and take us right back to the SteamOS UI. And everything pretty much works except from what I said earlier, the functions on here, some of them are non-functional. In order to change brightness, you still would have to go to the Windows setting of, for brightness and turn it up and down here, which isn't even that much of a hassle. And it's understandable since this is still technically in beta sort of, but everything else, as far as the menus and navigating this and launching and closing games and setting up controller layouts, all of that is still very much functional. And as I'm still very much a noob when it comes to this uh, UI here, I will get used to it and I will probably end up using this and even putting it on my PC just because it looks way nicer than using big picture mode and makes a whole lot more sense on the Steam Deck. For everyone laughing at Windows users and people choosing to use Windows on their Steam Deck because we weren't getting the full functionality of the Steam Deck, it seems like improvements are being made and I wasn't one to complain about the Windows experience to begin with, but this just adds to that experience. Obviously there's still benefits to using SteamOS and it's still catered to the Steam Deck even more and you get the option to sleep your system and quick resume into a game when you turn it back on. We can't do that in Windows yet, and that's something I've been getting past. Like, it's not something that bothered me going into Windows. I very much have the idea that I'm running my Steam Deck as a PC, and I have to boot into Windows, start the game, and if I'm turning it off, it's going to turn off, and I would have to restart the game and things like that. So it's just how you look at it perspective. I am not upset about any of that. I've very much gotten used to using Windows on my Steam Deck and how it's going to work and how I'm going to load into games and how I'm going to have to wait to load into games. But I still like having access to games I would normally not have access to on SteamOS, such as Destiny 2 and Modern Warfare 2. Now that I've talked about it and showed you guys a little bit of the SteamOS overlay on Windows, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I set this up. It's not super complicated. I'm actually going to do a screen capture from my Windows 10 PC that does not have this set up yet. You would pretty much follow those same steps on your Steam Deck running Windows, your WinDeck as some people are calling it. If you two would like to get the Steam Deck overlay on your Windows Steam Deck or even on your PC. So let's get into that. So I'm on my Windows 10 PC. This is my desktop gaming PC. It does not have the Steam Deck overlay set up yet. And these are pretty much the same steps I used to get the overlay to work on my Steam Deck running Windows 11. Once we're in Steam, you're gonna wanna go to Steam, Settings. Then on this screen, you're gonna go to Account and you're gonna change the beta participation uh, setting here. It says I'm not participating. And you're gonna change that to Steam Beta Update. Restart Steam. So it's done updating and now when we go to steam settings and account you will see that we are in the steam beta update we're participating in the beta the next thing you're going to want to do is fully close steam out make sure it's closed exit make sure it's not open in background either and then we're going to open the properties here on steam and we're going to change one simple thing you're going to type space dash game pad ui and then we're going to hit ok it's going to ask us if we need permission. We're going to hit continue. And that's pretty much all you do. Just space dash gamepad UI in the properties for the shortcut. And now when we launch into Steam, actually, I don't know if it's going to launch on its own or if we have to press anything. Let's go ahead and try to launch it ourselves. Yep, it's launching and it has changed to the Steam Deck UI just by putting that gamepad option. And we are on the Steam Deck UI on my desktop PC. So you can pretty much do this on your laptop, on your desktop PC, and on your Windows uh, Steam Deck, of course. 
If you're running your Steam Deck on Windows, I suggest you go ahead and try this, see how you like it. I would say it's a positive improvement in the Windows experience when it comes to Steam games. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one.